Hello my lovely Aquarians, how are you? This is your love reading for August 2020 with me Julie Paul. Thank you so so much for being here. I really appreciate your time and support on my channel. So if you don't know me and you're new here, welcome. All the information you need is in the description box below. Just click that little down arrow and have a look in there. You'll find everything you need to know. If you want to book in a private reading with me the link is there and if you'd like to make a donation to the channel to support the work that I do the donation is there too everything you need is down there all right my lovely so this is for Aquarius for love for August 2020 it's for all loving relationships so singles looking for love couples and also loving relationships with family and friends everything to do with love is encompassed here so we are using these two decks for advice. This is the power of love. This is the answer is simple. We'll get some more detail from the tarot, the tarot of dreams. And we're seeing from the angels of Atlantis who is with you for this month. And this is good for your sun, your moon, your rising, Venus and for cross watching. Please take what resonates, leave what doesn't. And let's see what we have for you for August and you've got joy there coming in okay how lovely a lovely energy for August for your Aquarius what do we have here give me some there we go oh look we've got just laugh this is looking good how lovely all right and who is with us for Aquarius please for August in terms of love what <coughs> what is the message from the angels and we've got Shamael with beginnings oh exciting times all right let's get some more information from the tarot victory the <laughs> Aquarius do I need to go any further this is looking amazing nine of coins Two of Swords, you're trying to make your mind up about something here, Aquarius. Let's find out a bit more. Okay, we've got another six. We've got the Six of Cups with the Six of Wands. We've got the Knight of Wands. And we've got the Eight of Cups. Oh, this is great. What a wonderful, wonderful love reading. How fabulous. So you've got the Six of Wands with the Six of Cups, the Nine of Coins with the Knight of Wands, the Two of Swords with the Eight of Cups. Fabulous, but let's start over here. So this is your advice from Spirit for the months, okay? It says, Joy, you delight in the love of life and bring a spirit of fun to all that you do. Now, when they repeat the message by using this different cards saying the same thing, they are really emphasizing it. Now, <laughs> just laugh, which is play and fun and giggles, along with joy and delighting in the love of life and bring a spirit of fun to all that you do. This is all about having some fun. It's been an intense, heavy, difficult six months. And I know that, um, you know, it's still going on in some places, but please, it's time for some fun. Let's get it balanced up. We want some fun and play. Now, Shamael, Archangel Shamael, is giving you here new beginnings. Isn't this a beautiful? I love these cards. They're so expressive and beautiful. This beautiful woman is walking towards the sunlight and the joy and the fun and the play of a new beginning. This is absolutely confirming the heavy times, the difficult times, the challenging times are over. This is a month of playing and laughter and fun. Fantastic. This is the most positive read, Aquarius, of all of them I've done. And there's only Pisces left to go. Without a doubt, this is the happiest, most joyful reading for all of the love readings for August. So I wish I had a lot of Aquarius in my car, in my chart. I don't think I've got any. So there we go. All right. So coming in from the tarot, we've got the six of wands. This is success. So whatever it is that you're trying to achieve, whether it's new love or to strengthen and bring some laughter and play into your existing relationships, 
you are going to achieve it this month. You know, these six cards, they're not the beginning, the middle and the end of the month. This is overall for the month, okay? This is all about victory. But he's earned this, right? He's standing on that balcony, being recognised, imagining the crowds cheering and whooping him, saying, I am victorious. I've come back from a battle and I am um, just so proud of myself. It has been a battle, hasn't it? It's been hard work. And, you know, you you do well to recognise yourself and say, Go me. Well done me. I'm so proud of me. I've, I've got through the most challenging times of, you know, in recent history. And I'm so proud of myself. Fantastic. And that's coming in with the Six of Cups, which is another card about joy. Because this is the child card, the innocence, the play, the fun. This also talks about loving relationships from the past. So our childhood friends, people we grew up with, our family, our siblings. This is all about family time and loving time. And those of you single, getting out there, getting out to have fun again and laughter again. And that's how you can connect with somebody new to bring love into your life for those who are single. But everything, remembering with love, okay? Love is a vibration that resonates within you and then shows up around you as a mirror of what's already in you. Now, that's really important to remember because many of you who are single can be quite unhappy and saying, when I get love, then I'll be happy. That's impossible. It can't work like that in terms of the law of attraction. It doesn't work like that. Like attracts like. When you're in a joyful, happy, playful space, that is when you bring more joy, happiness into you. And that can absolutely come in in the form of love. But it's not that the one creates, you know, love creates happiness. The happiness creates the love. So focus on you this month, on your joy, on laughing and playing and your victory, getting into that innocence and play and joy. And for those of you single, then that can absolutely draw love to you. And there are many of you single watching this because the nine of coins is the card of the independent single person. Not just that, because many of you coupled up will also relate to this card that you're strong and independent within a relationship. Yeah, you're not joined at the hip dependent on your partner for your happiness you are responsible for your happiness you know if your partner's in a grump it can be quite hard to be happy when you've got somebody miserable around you but it's not impossible okay you are responsible for your happiness and with the nine of coins being rooted down by the knight of wands knights are about action taking action on your passion all right. Now, when we're talking about love readings, the ones is all about passion and fire and motivation and enthusiasm. And here's the knight of wands riding this beautiful dragon. You know, he's playing, you know, he's having fun and he's taking action on his passion. And so are you. You are taking responsibility. Even those of you, you know, those of you single, you're taking responsibility to say, I am bringing passion back into my life. I'm absolutely bringing it in. And for those of you coupled, you're saying you're taking the, the responsibility to say, right, when was the last time me and my significant other had a really good laugh, had some fun? Right, we're going to go and have a day out. We're going to have a date night. We're going to get back into the joy and play. Get the board games out, you know, have, have some fun. Get some play going. That is what they are wanting for you for this month. Overall, everything. Now, these last two cards, the Two of Swords rooted down by the Eight of Cups. This is great. The Two of Swords is a card of indecision. I don't know. I don't know what to do. I can't make my mind up. I'm blindfolded. I can't see a way forward. And I'm stuck. And many of us have felt that for months now, you know, with lockdown and very little social in interaction, months without any social interaction. And some of you may have got a little bit stuck that even though we're allowed out now, <coughs> excuse me, for some of you, you might be saying, oh, I don't know if it's safe. I don't know if I want to go out again. I've got so stuck in a rut of being at home. I don't quite know how to start 
over. I don't know how to restart my social life. I don't know how to restart my play. <clears throat> Sorry, a bit croaky. Let me just grab a mouthful of tea. Bear with me. Okay. So some of you have been feeling this. You know, perhaps you and your partner have got a bit stuck. Um, it's all been very serious and heavy and intense. And so this is the month you bring in the play back. And you may have been feeling, I don't quite know how to, it's all been so serious for so long, but it's coming in with the Eight of Cups, which is the card of walking away, moving on, turning your back on something and putting it behind you. And you're turning your back on that indecision of I'm stuck and I don't know how to. You are creating that new beginning. You're saying, OK, this isn't about going back to the way it was. This is about creating a new, fresh start based on everything I've learned and grown and strengthened from over the last few months. This is the time for a new beginning. August is a fresh start, a new beginning, and I am ready for it. I'm ready to come away from the indecision. I'm ready to come away from feeling stuck and not seeing a way forward. I'm going to create some joy and play. And what that's going to do is that's going to drop that blindfold, be able to use those swords to cut away the restrictions, freeing yourself to move towards that new beginning. This is a wonderful reading, Aquarius. It's just beautiful in terms of love and joy and play, all the good stuff. Fabulous. Have an incredible month. There's not much really more for me to add. They've repeated it over and over here. Joy, play, enjoying yourself, taking action on your passion, moving away now from that difficult time into a new beginning. Have a fantastic month, Aquarius. I do hope this helps. If it does and it resonates for you, drop a comment below. I claim this reading. It helps you to resonate. It helps you to align with it and it helps to bring it in. So thank you so much for being here. I truly appreciate your time and support on my channel. Sending you all my love. Take care and see you for next month. The September general reads will be uploaded the middle of August and the September love readings will go live on the 1st of September. And don't forget to join me for the weeklies too. So I will see you then. You take care. Lots of love. Bye bye.